Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD Broadcast Studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Alan Troop, reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Thursday, November 19th. Tonight, we report on the arrest of a man for attempted murder and a collision on Basin Street that sent a woman to the hospital. In sports, Bob Kirkpatrick reports on the recent Big Ben Lady Vikings basketball wins. And our spotlight story tonight is about the McKay Healthcare Nursing Homes fundraising efforts. And we have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, one man is arrested for reportedly shooting a man in the head because he thought the victim had stolen a cell phone. Jordan Weister, a 21-year-old Moses Lake man, was arrested yesterday for attempted murder in the first degree with premeditation and unlawful possession of a firearm for being a convicted felon. The Grant County Sheriff's Office claims Weister shot Dale Olmos, a 28-year-old Moses Lake man, in the head and left him in a field in the 2800 block of Road 5 Northeast on December 11th because he reportedly thought Olmos had stolen a cell phone. Olmos was found alive and taken to the hospital for treatment. The Sheriff's Office is looking to arrest Jose Criminal Rivera, a 16-year-old Moses Lake male, for attempted murder in the first degree. He is described as a Hispanic male standing 5 foot 8 inches with black hair, blue eyes, and a light complexion. Detectives are also looking for Gilbert Williamson, a 46-year-old man, as a person of interest. He is described as being a Caucasian standing six feet tall, weighing about 220 pounds, with hazel eyes and short brown hair. The Sheriff's Office asks anyone with information about the shooting or the location of Rivera or Williamson to call 509-762-1160. Information can also be sent by email to crimetips at co.grant.wa.us. People providing the tips can remain anonymous. A 62-year-old Moses Lake woman was struck by an SUV on Basin Street in Ephrata last night. Colleen McPherson was injured and flown to Central Washington Hospital for treatment. According to the Washington State Patrol, Kathy Lamargi, a 65-year-old Ephrata woman, was driving a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo when she allegedly turned left onto Basin Street from First Avenue Northwest and struck McPherson while she was walking in the crosswalk. The cause of the collision was reported as driver inattention by the State Patrol. Recommended charges have not been determined and are pending the investigation. The Warden Police are investigating a possible fight between two members of the same gang after one was found with a gunshot wound. Around 9 p.m. last night, a bartender at the Euro Restaurant and Lounge heard two gunshots outside the bar and called 911. According to the Grant County Sheriff's Office, police found Alfredo Mendoza, a 31-year-old warden man, standing outside of the bar with a cut to his lip and believed he was in a fight. At roughly 10 p.m. last night, Junior Ramos, a 35-year-old Lake Moses Lake man, entered Samaritan Hospital for treatment of a single gunshot wound to the upper arm. The wound was not life-threatening. Police believe the two incidents are related. It is not clear if the incident is gang-related, however. Mendoza and Ramos have been affiliated with the same criminal street gang. The investigation continues, and police are asking anyone with information to call the Warden Police at 509-762-1160. Each of the people you see here has warrants for their arrest and is wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. 
You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. We will be back after these messages with the latest from our I-501 Weather Center, sports and more news.